Hello everyone, I'm coming. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Alberto Carraro and today we are going to race with a day boat racer. Oh, I'm so sorry, I made a, a, a small mistake, but it will not matter too much. And <clears throat> today we are going to race with a day boat racer. We have a lot of race to do, so we have to start straight away. <clears throat> uh, the music is fine. The audio is fine, so everything is alright. We are ready to go, 8 out of 9, and uh, hello Frank, hello. So today the live will be in English, and I will try my best to, to do the whole live in English. <clears throat> and uh, But I still want to communicate uh, with you guys, uh, even if uh, I'm... Um, you're Italian, I'm speaking English. So today we are going to speak about the new changes that are on uh, ORC 2020. There will be plenty of them, they will be really, really interesting and uh, seems that uh, the sailmaker right now needed to work a lot on that because <coughs> there will be a huge difference and this whole difference is making the whole world. There is uh, five major factors that are going to change in the 2020 uh, ORC uh, rating and uh, mm, I'm going to start with the first one uh, but let me start first. Eight, uh, ten seconds to the start, we are a little bit early, nine, eight. Yeah, we're here with the Spanish, we cannot start much earlier. Three, two, one and go. I think it's a good start for us, we are here with Bandito that is trying to go as high as hell, but we do a double tuck. <clears throat> okay, first major changes, uh, we have uh, the double handed. So there will be a certificate made especially for double handed boats uh, and double handed crews that are going to uh, make the, um, the race more interesting as there is a, for example in Italy there is a full uh, championship dedicated for offshore and double-handed races uh, normally coastal races we don't do inshore races for that and uh, that would be nice I mean we have finally a certificate for that Okay, there's a penalty for the French guy and we're going to tuck to try to avoid the um, Try to avoid the bandito actually and we try to go this way and see what's going to happen. I Think maybe it's better to try to go closer to him and see what we can do about it Okay, we can laugh up a little bit and then we tuck over the French so <clears throat> we, here we can secure the third position and the French cannot tuck twice to v, Vivian Vivian V actually He's not going to go f further away. So it's strange that he is still here, but you know uh, probably because we have uh, some uh, uh, Wind, uh, uh, dirty wind from Bandido that is going insanely fast. We're speaking about double handed, is the first change that is going to be for ORC rating. So, uh, all the people that are looking for this, they will be really, really, really happy because it's, um, it's a really, really good uh, um, rating that. Uh, that people can have if they do that kind of races. I believe we're going to follow him, so let's go. <clears throat> let's see what the French is doing. Now oh, we're going to drive there a little net. Probably Bonito is going to win this race. He's going really, really fast, so well done to him. Probably he has done some research about the speed of the boat and uh, he has a way to go a little bit faster rather than we stick with the best VMG. There is a penalty for the Maxim for Maxim, and the wind is rotating to the right, so that's why we're going here. The mark was also a little bit closer, but that's not the reason. 
is because we are waiting for the rotation to the right to go in and probably we can be a little bit closer even if we have a Vivian that is going superbly over here and let's go so after the and this is not the major changes but you know is a change that I want to go away faster with that because there is other changes so they remove some obsolete measure like the weight of the boom like the point where you cannot touch a sail outside the boom it is an old measure that uh, there were in the certificate that nobody use it anymore because the sails changed a lot and uh, for example the position of the spinnaker pole for another one is so plenty of things that uh, have been taken off because less boats are using the same measure and uh, that boat are so old that doesn't count anymore that much let's see if we can go to cover him yeah it was a good choice he went to jibe once we go to jibe twice again let's see if we can cover him i'm not saying taking the position but but this will be really 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 really, really weird if we win the, this race because he has a huge advantage over us let's see i say that we keep like this and a huge bear way at the end nope still two seconds behind but not that bad sorry guys i was focusing so second things they took off a lot of uh, this kind of numbers that are not ma ma really important but uh, i think still think that the weight of the boom uh, will be a game changer for both designer uh, and for old boat owner because if you remember old boats that have really really heavy uh, aluminium pole and but the new one uh, is always really really light so uh, you'll never know uh, what's going to happen and I'm really really interested to see uh, is um, is developing one more thing is going to happen is one of the most important one now i want to keep the important at the end i am keeping the important at the end let me start first and then uh, we can speak about that eighteen seconds to the start and 12 let's go 10 maybe too early let's let the canadian go four three two one he is too early so he started too early we have done the right choice to start a little bit later seems the wind is mostly sent ah it's a little bit on the left do you think i can cross think so let's try you'll be insanely tough you'll be really close woof guys that, that that one was really really close i'm really happy we crossed because right now i think the wind will rotate to the right so that would be uh, that was the good choice i did Hmm. No, it's rotating to the left. Okay, no worries. No, no, it's rotating to the right. I'm going good, so I'm going to tuck right now. So, uh, another thing is uh, uh, all the rules and all the VPP are easy available to everybody. So if anybody needed to make some try, not only boat owners, not only sailmaker and um, 
how do you say, uh, boat designer, but also for boat owners. And this will be a really, really uh, a change of game. Then there is small changes uh, for smaller boats, boats with uh, the um, uh, classification uh, with a CDL underneath 9.77. They can carry four spinnakers rather than three. That seems a bit more fair for them uh, because before they, uh, the small boats are allowed only a maximum of three sails, three downwind sails. Right now they have uh, they can have three, uh, they can have four. Sorry. And right now we go straight. We try to avoid albatross that would be uh, damaging us not uh, a small amount. So that's why we jibe a little bit early. We jibe a little bit late. We jibe again. And if he's following in our trap, he's going to be covered by him. Is a left wind shift, so we go over here and we go here to cover him. And now we tackle. Also, uh, we did really bad in this mark, we should have done better. And uh, he's uh, in the head of the race at the moment. <clears throat> okay, so the um, The class also has changed before uh, they were a little bit different and uh, right now they change a little bit especially because uh, CDL changes a little bit oh that was bad this one was bad that's okay take the penalty and uh, we stay here. Uh, I'm going to be a pain for him for the uh, for the old downwind. So no worries about that. I'm not going to give up my first position that easily. And another second position is still good, but Albatross is one of the stronger one. So. But the only way for me to go to win is going to split and try to find more wind. So the division for um, the classes has changed uh, drastically. Before was class A was uh, 1640 of CDL, now it's 12. Class B is going from 12 to 977. And class C goes from 977 to uh, CDL 8.5. So, you know, is a, is a change. So probably also the CDL is going to change a little bit, but not sure. So there is a lot of, of things going on. Sorry, but I was checking if everything was working perfectly. Too late, my friend, a bit too late. Uh, I know, Andrea, I know, Andrea, that was a really, really a little bit too late. When you're joining me, Andrea, I, I hope you're going to use this one as this one is recognized by the Federation. So, world sailing and um, the Italian Federation, uh, and, uh, mo uh, mostly all the Federation in the world are going to use this uh, for national championship as esports so this one is really a game that every sailor used need to have because if you are a world champion or a european champion or whatever italian champion you are recognized as the winner of a, a championship a sailing championship like if you win a 470 Italian Championship or no RC World Championship. You can be on the paper, you're considered in the same way. And if you want to see uh, me without any lag, I would suggest that to watch me on uh, uh, firstly Twitch or, uh, um, or YouTube, where you can follow me and you can see really easy all the notification that I'm doing something, so it's okay. Five, 
four, three, two, one. I'm a little bit, uh, whoa, amazing start for us. <clears throat> we are ahead of everybody else. And we have Nick Ross that is really, really strong. And uh, he is in third position with a penalty and MM Racing, another one that is really, really strong. Really happy to be in this group of sailors. So, um, there is a more succulent things that I'm keeping for the last because it require a lot of time. Uh, there is also um, Corrosion certificates now have the photo of the yachts and there is the soup for the I don't believe any of the, my viewer has a super yacht but there will be a super yacht rules for both over 100 feet sailing and uh, the only thing is and now we have to go for the bad thing if a race committee uses GPH as their only way to uh, score the boats, that's going to be trouble. Because um, GPH give you, yes, an average, but an average depending not only on the course, also wind intensity. So there will be a lot of things going on. Uh, with the ORC, so um, race uh, committee should go with uh, the more parametrical one. Oh, let's see this nice battle of tacking. I think we can make it to the mark right now. No, a little bit low, but we are going to do the double tack over here. We're going to lose a lot of speed, but. At least I stopped the German and we have Falchi coming in really, really fast, so probably, nope. Probably the Russian? <laughs> no, the Russian also is too far away. So I'm, I'm going to be uh, in, a, in a race with uh, MC Re MM Racing and that will be tough, guys. Really, really, really tough. Because right now he has the power of uh, covering me. Oh, but seems the Russian when to cover him because he took the right time to jibe and right now the russian will be going in second position as he is the right of way we are going to run the mark another time not really really good and oh russian take the penalty from the german and we are here with the german he is very away to avoid any of the um, of the uh, the shadow wind, the dirty wind, and we are going almost straight to the mark with this uh, port tuck, and we are going to be amazing, amazing guys. So, the last things is the famous. If you, I believe you have already heard all of the other um, videos on YouTube speaking about this. Read all the articles, and I hope. I can give you a smaller insight about that. So, is the dilemma of the code zero. So, if uh, you make a code zero with uh, the midweight um, smaller than 75%, that code zero is going to be considered head sale. So it's going to pay as a head sail. And that's bad because the head sail change a lot, especially when you are um, going upwind. If you make instead a code zero between 75 and 85%, there is this, I'm not sure if it's a new class of sales, but there is this new class of sales that uh, count as uh, not as pinnacle and not as as, as head sail but it's called, uh, count as set flying sails uh, but by the way I'm going to win this race uh, and uh, 
this one will have uh, a good, uh, uh, a really bad things, because um, this kind of sales are going to pay the most uh, on a, um, a, other than the normal condition that are uh, you know uh, light wind, uh, half beam, stuff like that. They're going to increase a lot, and I mean a lot, on uh, a downwind leg at like you know 135, 140 degrees uh, at um, at big range of wind, big range of wind. So that means that. Um, that is a small mistake because you're not going to use that kind of sails with that big range of wind the, the um, 25 knots you're not going to put a, um, a code zero you're going to put uh, an A5 if you have it or um, an A3 uh, that is uh, small enough to handle that kind of conditions but you put a small spinnaker rather than a, a, a light a, a light code zero. So I believe there is a small issue about that. But if you still make your code zero um, bigger than eighty five percent with a half weight, bigger than eighty five percent, your um, your code zero going to stay with the spinnaker. And because with the spinnaker you're going to have um, a really bigger spinnaker than a cos zero. Cos zero, if you have, um, is normally a little bit more than half of a spinnaker. So a cos zero that is a uh, hundred uh, square meters, you will have uh, a genaker that is uh, like hundred, uh, hundred fifty, hundred eighty. Five, four. Oh, we are too early. We are too early. Really good start for the American. That forced us to to stay in that really, really bad situation. Let's see what we can do over here. The, the German will be pissed. Uh, yeah, I told you. No. Ah, uh, he tacked on me, and I take the penalty. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really upset. Okay, but let's go this way and see what's going to happen. We passed already. We are in the fifth position, and now we have to fight for our our normal position. That will be top three. So let's go, guys. Guys, I, I needed to have a uh, tough rank. I needed to have uh, your support, and please. Put it on message on Facebook, on YouTube, and Twitch. And if you like this video, put it up there like. If you are not subscribed yet, subscribe, especially on YouTube. We are going to have uh, really, really soon 700 followers. So I want to make a special uh, video about that. Let, let's see what's uh, when is coming out and uh, what I can do for that. So, penalty for the third boat. Oh, we tucked really, really too soon. When this... Oh, Mars... Marche... Marche is doing... Uh, uh, I think is uh, slowing me down. So, probably I'm going away. And I'm trying to be away. I'm trying to tuck, so let's see. And I think we are going to pass in the fourth or fifth position. Yeah, probably fifth position. We are really, really in a bad situation here. Oh, but there is a penalty for the American. That I'm sorry to hear this, but Marche is going to pass in front. Of... No. Oh, come on! Go straight. So we get a penalty, we're going back to 5th position, come on guys, come on, come on, come on. Thank you Tommy, thank you really much. We can do this, we can do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm sorry guys, I need to focus a little bit more right now. 
I have the journalist pissed with me, I can say it. <clears throat> Let's see if uh, with a good jibe we can take a couple of position. With a good uh, round of the market. We need to pass behind the German. Dropping the kite. Going up and tucking. Oh, let's see, fourth. Yeah, yeah, was a good round of the mark. We are just 20 meters behind uh, the couple for that are fighting for the second position. And I'm going to tuck in front of the German because it pissed me off a lot. So he can go to piss off the, <laughs> the Gazi boy. <laughs> and we are going to take this third position because the, uh, I think the American, yeah. The American give the penalty to uh, the Australian and the Australian give the penalty to, I say, Palestinian. Uh, the, the Spanish went to fish something, so never know what's going to happen right now. There will be a fight for the first. The American run first, the Spanish run second, and there will be a battle for the third position that is going to go as a penalty for nobody oh that's interesting ah no for the German yeah yeah <laughs> the Spanish jibe so let's see what we can do in this case guys uh, this one will be really really tough probably we'll finish top three as we have a big advantage over the others the wind is 20.9 is not going neither higher neither lower we are not being covered by the um, Australian boat and there is a fight over there maybe we can join the fight see if we can disturb someone 10.9 for us 10.811 for him let's go into jibe again Now we need to fight for keeping the third position rather to fight for the second. And we have the Australian fighting for that too, so. And first position for the American, second position for the Spanish team. And we're going to take the third. Come on guys, considering the amount of penalty they took. And the big. Yeah, we took two penalties. We we We've done the shorter sailing. The average speed was 8.1 for the Spanish guy. So th think how fast he was going. He was insanely fast. Let's see if I still, no. Nope. Right guys, I run out of coffee. That's terrible. That's terrible. So let's go for one more. And we are going to race. So, most important things about the 2020 ORC is this code zero. What do you think about that? Do you think they did nice to change all the um, all the all the rules? Do you think they did well, uh, considering that they're going to do a new unified one? The, the so the championship will be ORC and. IRC together this year so and having the, the fleet that is going to split for this reason maybe was not the best I don't think they've done uh, uh, a really an amazing job here because with the unified race with the unified world championship because before was only ORC and that the one was counting and uh, right now with the unified with one uh, things that is going for the um, for the smaller uh, code zero one going for the bigger code zero i think was a small mistake Ooh, sean bond that's the adversary that i need to fight it's a pleasure to have you here sean and let's see if I can beat him because he's one of the best in the world, definitely the best in Japan. 
there is no <laughs> no one that I fear the most from um, the land of the rising sun. So let's see how is going this race. If we have a smaller right wind shift, we are going to pass all of them. <laughs> Ayel is going on a different way, he knows something we don't. Probably not, he's just going too slow. Okay, we're going to jibe at uh, attack, sorry. We are not on lane line, but the wind already shifted. And we should pass in front of Ayel. We should bother at least the Spanish team. And I hope we can bother also our friend Sean Bond that is going to be stuck in a little bit of traffic. Let's see, yeah, he's going to piss off the Spanish. We are going to piss off the Spanish too. So the Spanish is going to be mad. And now he's pissing off the Spanish back, I think. No, he's not. He's going to piss me. Ah. <clears throat> Let's see. If I can bear away just a little bit, that I can increase my speed for like. Yeah, he's going to laugh up. Uh, he's going to do try to make the mark. Let's see if we can take an advantage about that. Let's see if we can disengage ourselves. Yes, and we are free to go. And after that, we're going to jibe. Whew, that was tough with Sean. Hello. <laughs> and we have more wind here, that's why we're going here. And there's a right wind shift, so, yep. Okay. He's going to tell me to tack now. I'm going to tack now. So it's not going to bother me too much. And let's see if I can uh, run the mark just in front of him without taking a penalty. No, it's not going to happen. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Thanks. I'm really sorry, Sean. I'm so sorry that Sean is not in a good position right now. He was so far too kind. I do not deserve it. Guys, I do not deserve it. He was so kind. I was taking the penalty here and was through. I'm so sorry, Sean. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, please don't be mad. Okay, guys, we needed to have the win for him. We cannot let his uh, sacrifice be in vain. So let's go for the win now, guys. Thanks was not no, was not deserved. Deserve it. I do not understand though how he can catch up that fast in one jibe. It's okay. Probably this boat lose a lot of speed. Let, let, let's go into check. 10.7, okay, let's jibe, 9.7, he's losing one knot, he's losing one knot for one second, so we should be like one meter top. I do not know what, how you can catch up like 10 meters in two jibes. His boat is not losing a lot of speed during the jibe, okay, fair enough, I probably I needed to improve my jibing skill. Probably make it more rounder and not do it. No, I'm not well done. I'm sorry. If you if you were second, I will let you pass. If you were second without any doubt, I'll let you pass. But you know, I cannot wait until the fourth. It's too much. <laughs> Let's see how we're looking now. Ooh, um, I 
just open up during the, the end of this race. Uh, the list of the... Um, As you can see, I'm not upset with these chests. Really, really upset. Okay. I was looking on the ORC and there is already the list of the championship. And we have Croatian's championship in November in Sibenik. That would be tough. The Austrian championship in Porto Rots is in April. A South African championship. Slovenian Championship in Isola. Oh, there is a lot of championship in Slovenia this year. Between Italy, um, you know, it's Crotone, so it's not really, really that close. But there is a, the Austrian Championship in Porto Rots in, in April. There is the is Slovenian Championship in Isola. And then. Uh, Then there is the Croatian Championship in Sibenik. There is the one in Crotone. Crotone, actually. We have a lot of race. Oh, there is the Millennium Cup in New Zealand that is going to start really soon. For the super yachts, other international events. Uh, the hug. There is a lot of in the in Dutch. Middle Sea Race, Sydney Hobart. Oh, Thousand Island Race, 19 to 29 September. This will be interesting. Copa del Rey is end of July, beginning of August. What's happened here? Sorry guys, I believe I have some issue with uh, the, um, the gaming software. You see it's taking ages to load. So let me restart the, 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 the software. As you can see, is a is a browsing game, so everybody can play it. If you have a computer, you're watching this. I'm ninety nine point five percent sure that you still have a browser game, the f uh, and that is working. The five percent is for the one who is not working, but I'm sure that a hundred percent of people have a browser on their tablet, on their phone, on their computer. Is the one where you go to internet okay and uh, yeah because i bought it before so he's keeping it let's go for one more race eight of nine everything's going fine the audio is going well i'm going bad ah it's not going bad it's really really quiet Okay, eight skipper ready to go. So guys, I have a question for you. Do you have a topic that I w you want me to speak about? Because I'm going for the news. I'm trying to find the mm, most important news coming around and uh, try to see if uh, it's working okay. But if you have a topic that, for example, you want me to discuss, like. I don't know, racing rules, or uh, how to set up your boat, or uh, everything else. Just send me a message right now on uh, YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch, and I'm going to speak about it. And if it's too big, I'm going to speak in a separate video. 20 seconds to the start. I hope this one will be fine. Hello. Have a good race. So we can try to distract them. 10 seconds to the start. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Not the best start ever, but not a, ba a bad one. So we have many French, I believe a Polish, and uh, one, one guy from Hong Kong. So let's try to uh, see uh, M R O W K A Mrovka. I say it's Mrovka. Uh, we have Capuchema that is really strong, Luther that is really strong, Joystick. Uh, I think I've my race against him before. 
The Hong Kong guy did, didn't do a really, really great start, neither did we. That's why we're in third position. Third. Awful. But. But, but, but. I think the wind is rotating to the right. So. Probably, if we are not getting ahead, probably we'll get one position from Capuchema. It is far too on the left. And the wind, with the wind rotating on the right, one, two, and three are going to gain a lot. Joystick not is definitely in front of us, but you know, still we're pretty close. We're going to attack early. I do not want to trouble these guys. And if I'm attacking now, the French is going to go to for the ley line, so it's not going to disturb me. He's going to disturb me. He's not on the ley line. Oh, I'm really hoping that is not the right wind shift. Because if we can make it and we cannot, we so pissed. As you can see, Capuchema is behind us and is probably going to pass behind us. So we're going to attack and we're going to attack again. Guys, this one will be tough. Will be insanely tough. A penalty for joystick. We're going to laugh up. Let's see if we can make it. Yes, penalty also for Capuchema. And we annihilated two of the French. And we take the first position because Mrovka have a, a fight with the French. So we're getting the good things out of it. We're going to jump early to avoid any people covering us. Seems the mark are almost the same. I would say a little bit more the left one at the moment compared to the other one. Let's see what's going to happen over there. Tuck and uh, jibe and drop and laugh up. Oh, this is a good one. That can be a slightly better, but this is a good round of the mark. As you can see, I start large and I close it up really, really close. So really happy about that. <clears throat> And as you can see, we have 16, 17 meters in front of joystick. There is a second one, 19 meters in front of the Polish Mrovka. 23 meters over the French Luta. 27 over the Hong Kong guy. And then there is Capuchema in the last position. Maybe attack too early? Let's see if we can make it. That's really, 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 really close. The Hong Kong guys went to the right way and he he have done an amazing one. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I've done it. Shit your arm the way. I should have done better. But you see, the Hong Kong guys is coming from the left. No, he touched the mark. He was too nervous to go uh, port on the mark and he get a belt. Sorry for him. He was doing a really amazing race. He found the right way. He decided to split. He split in the right direction, but nothing good for him happened. Sorry guys, I think the audio is a little bit too loud. So I'm going to drop it a little bit. The music, I mean, sorry. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's going to happen here. Yep, exactly what I want. So Joystick jibed to cover me and Luther jibed to cover Joystick. So we're all of three of us are going to be covered. Oh, th that's really, really nice over here. We're going to jibe because we want him to jibe. So see if he's going to get covered. 12.6, 12.6, 12.9 for us. We are going really, really well. There's nothing. We can miss the finishing line. But except that, it's really hard for us to lose this position, this win, this amazing race. Let's see, any message? Nope. Guys, do not write me on Facebook, because I cannot reply you back. I just can read it, but I cannot reply you back, so there's no two-way communication. If you want two-way communication, please write on YouTube. That's that's going to create, that's going to be bad. One minute, one more race. 
and uh, and then I wrap it up. Okay, it's been already 40 minutes that I'm blubbering. So guys, stick with me for the last race, and then uh, we are all going to our jobs. So 33 seconds. There is a right wind shift. There is a a line that is really really bent so i will say the mid um a, a free mid start so uh, there is no one going to give us trouble except the french in front of us they're not going to give us more trouble one and go I believe the French was too early. Yep, that was a cold call for me. And as you can see, I'm free. And I'm going. I'm going. I have only PHC that is from Peru. It's going amazingly fast. Is one more of the only guy that's uh, that's really really great. Forty nine Hansen. Hansen, he's a really Danish boy uh, name. I hope he's not that Hansen. That's okay. There's a left wind shift. Yeah, I was hoping for that. And now we can tuck again. So PHC is not going to trouble us anymore. Um, we lose many meter about that, but I hope the um, the Hansen can give him trouble because definitely is giving to us. This is not going to be happy. I'm going to tuck in front of him. Yeah. So it's going to tuck again. I'm tucking in front of the Russian. And this one will be tough because me and Hansen, we are going to be in the same position for the mark. So, Ori has some problem from the French that is coming from the right. Is this one the French? If Tito Tom give him trouble before me, I'm still screwed. So. I think I can find a small narrow space between all of it. Yes! Yes! We did it, guys! It was really narrow. <laughs> I believe I almost hit the Peruvian boat. And... And this one will be a fight for the, for the second one. Bam, bam. I really want to have a crew that, that say, okay, jive, jive. <laughs> and, 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 and. Uh, okay, we need to split with the Peruvian. And let's hope for the best. A really good run of the mark. Seven meter ahead behind. Let's see what's going to happen. Four meter only. Ah, because it's tucked. If you tuck just after running the mark, this boat lose a lot of speed suddenly. It's better to go straight a little bit more. And guys, we have a right wind shift, I think. Yeah, it's rotating to the right. We're going really to be close to the ley line. Not sure if I did the right things. Yeah, just I just underneath the ley line, so it's stuck in front of me. Is not going to make it. We just do a double tuck over here. And like this, the Danish is not going to make it. Now, come on, there's a right wing shift and the Peruvian make it. Okay, no worries. Do we have a second chance for this one? I don't think so. Is really, 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 really fast. But it's going to the. I'm 
going straight, I'm going driving. I'm going straight, I'm going straight, guys. I'm going this way. 23.5. Nope, being covered, no, no. Mm. You want to stay with us, to cover us? Sorry guys, I'm really, really focused. It's really, really tough here. I'm covered by Hansen, that is not giving me any things to... Well done to the Peruvian. I believe I need to stay here just a little bit more. And then we can go to the finish line. We should be fine, yeah. Being covered a little bit, but we're going to finish in second position after a really, really tough fight between me and Hansen for the second position. And we tried to disturb a PHC, but it's not gonna happen. As you can see, I lose some point, even if I'm second. Okay guys, before wrapping up, don't go away. I want to show you the most amazing thing. Before I was in the general rating and general ranking I was 119 because I do not race regularly. Oh, nice. But e-sailing world championship 2020 coming soon. I'm really, really excited, guys. I really, really hope we can do a great year this year. I really can hope we can do this great year with you. And if you like it, thumbs up. If you're not, subscribe to the channel. And see you next time, guys. Have a good one.